Hey guys, it's me, Fruit Loop, and I'm solo again. Hoopty, I'm sorry, y'all call her Gigi. I call her Hoopty, but so Gigi is under the weather and can't be with us tonight, so I've got to do a what you know by myself. So uh, prayers for her that she feels better. Um, so what you know, Fruit Loop, I'm asking myself again. Did you know that squirrels are behind most power outages in the U.S.? Yes, you heard it right. Squirrels, not ice, not snow, not any kind of bad weather. It's squirrels. Uh, so they actually developed a squirrel index where they could analyze patterns of timings of squirrels that impact electrical power systems. And it turns out that the peak times for the, of the year for squirrel attacks is from May to June and October to November. So we had that happen at my house, so I know that to be true. They knocked out a whole block. They were in there chewing on the wires. Not sure they survived, but so there you have it. Squirrels are behind most power outages in the U.S. Uh, so we're going to jump to our sponsor. Two cool t-shirt quilts. Um you can go over to www.twocooltshirtquilts.com forward slash pretty lies and alibis. They can hook you up with all kind of blankets. Again, you can't see my pillow because it's on my bed. So uh, they can do pillows, uh, quilts, whatever, and they can use different things from baby clothes to uh, just clothing in general. Uh, so go check them out, Andrea, over at Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. I'm sending mine this week. Get my Yankee quilt done. I'm excited. All right. So, and just remember, they can take your T-shirts and make them into a quilt that is too cool. So, we dissected a little bit of the text messages from Zulema between Zulema and Chad and Lori. Uh, we got a great response from you guys. A lot of this I hadn't heard either. Uh, so we had one comment that they understood now why Lori acted like she did was because they treated her like a goddess, which they call her that in several of the text messages or whatever. Uh, so one thing I want to point out, uh, last night when we did, we went over some stuff in February. Sorry, I had to wet my whistle. Um, so in February, during the time where she's getting all those new phones and everything, she was actually had flown out to Salt Lake City. Uh, so she was out that way um, doing all that stuff. Uh, again, we're going to pick up here on March 5th uh, from a text from Zulema. And during that time, she was actually in Idaho. Uh, so Zulema, we're just going to jump into it, guys. Uh, Zulema... On March 5th, 2019, uh, she texts Lori, I had a super weird and dark dream last night. I was laying down like on a beach with my body barely underwater. I had tentacles going all over my back. I could see the tentacles. They were black. Then it appeared that they passed, except for some, I'm trying to read this, guys were left on the back of my thighs. I keep feeling them so much that it woke me up. I woke up casting out. I'm not sure what that was, but it was definitely dark. What do you think? Lori texts her back a few minutes later. Sounds dark, like they're trying to attach darkness to you, but you are too powerful. You will be triumphant, exclamation, exclamation. I know it. Be strong, my sister. Zulema to Lori the next day on March 6th. They had put some dark creatures that were still attached to your aura. They were like leeches trying to suck out my light energy. Chad had to remove them for me. Chad had to remove them from me. I could feel them yesterday. My energy was low. I had body pains and I felt a disconnect. From Lori on the same day, um, I'm so glad they're gone. I know what that's like. Are you better today? Zulema responds back, yes, much better. I feel like myself again. Uh, Zulema to Lori again. 
isn't it inter- isn't it interesting that I felt tentacles and they were leeches? There's a there's a learning here. We have to start recognizing the attacks, the symbols, and what they mean. From Lori, we are getting stronger and the veil thinner so we can fight. And guys, again, this is we're seeing this whole. I mean, you're seeing the inner workings of this whole cult. Um, so there's a picture sent to somebody that we that's we can't see that. Zulimita Lori, still March 6th. Yes, we are. Um, Zulimita Lori again on March 7th. Did you come to me in my dreams last night? Were you and Chad working on something? I could see you and hear you. It was so real. So from Lori on March 7th, we were. Now, guys, forgive me. Um, At this time, March 7th, um, March 1st, uh, Charles had filed to dismiss the divorce proceedings. Um, so March 2nd, and this is according to an email from Charles Vallow to Lori, Alex accuses Charles of taking JJ and trying to put Lori in jail. So this is what's going on. Um, and I don't know if y'all remember the, uh, the text that Janice Cox sent to Alex was defending Charles because remember Charles had turned the phones back on and all that stuff. So all this is happening uh, at that time. Charles is going to Lori's family saying, you know, something's not right. Uh, Lori flies out to Idaho. Um, On March 7th, Charles formally withdraws JJ and moves to Houston again. So this is when, All this is happening. Now, here they're texting all this stuff, and this is what's going on in their life. Uh, Charles emails Lori appealing for her to come back to reestablish contact with them. Um, So all that's going on while we're going and we're seeing these texts. This is what they're doing. Like, Lori's with Chad, and, I mean, we have it right here. Zulema asks, were you working on something? And she's like, we were. So from Lori... What did we say? Um, Zulema texts back. Chad had been given the gift of healing. Then you two were working on something, but I could only hear your voices. I couldn't decipher what you were saying. From Lori. We were healing and blessing and protecting you so that you can complete your mission. The dark side has had council meetings on how to stop you. So we listened in so that we could combat anything and everything they try. You have been given powers, protections, and priesthoods. So Zulema responds, I felt it. I heard Chad say he had been given healing power and he was going to heal me. I was there. From Lori. That's awesome. He does have it. It is his strongest gift. So on 3-8, Zulema to Lori, and she's quoting some scripture here. Uh, and they who remain shall also be quickened. Nevertheless, they shall return again to their own place to enjoy that which they are willing to receive because they were not willing to enjoy that which they might have received. So Zulema asked, the remnant return to their own place. Where is that at? Back to spirit world, question mark, to await another probation, question mark, another creation, question mark. Lori responds like three hours later on March 8th. My understanding is that according to our own missions, different people will do different things. Some will stay and help. Some will go to the next round. Some will come back during the millennium. Zulema responds, that makes sense. The remnant will go to the next round. From Lori, yep, that's so cool, right? Because basically the multiple creations are done when the Savior comes again. Yay. Then you will go off with your eternal companion and create your own world. Then we will all come back to help fight at the end of the millennium. 
So Zulema responds, very cool. I've been studying and getting more knowledge about the priesthood we have. The Adamic and familial priesthood, we have it together with our husbands. Can we use it individually or without our husbands physically here? The reason I ask is that we're in the middle of warfare. I've been casting out, and I know I get rid of some, but not others. Higher level darks and demons, but Chad can, because he uses the priesthood. Can we use our priesthood to cast out and destroy weapons? Chad found a sword and helmet on Serena and I today that they were causing us headaches and muffled communication with the Lord. From Lori on 3-8, yes, you can, and I can use the priesthood. We have it. I'm sorry, this might be from Chad. Yes, you, yes, you and I can use the priesthood. We have it. It's either Chad or Lori. I can't tell. It's, it's redacted. Sometimes on this document, you can see Lori's name under it because it's in red, and at other times, it's just blacked out. So this is still at the beginning of March, guys. This is March 9th. Uh, Zulema responds, I just read this. A young man just received his mission call, and instead of saying it was for 24 months, it said the length of his mission would be announced during the next conference. Let's be prepared for some really big changes. From Lori on March 9th. That's so crazy. I'm excited. Can't wait. Zulema texting to someone, right? It's going to be so exciting. Remember, yeah. Uh, Zulema again to Lori. Satan is really hitting us today. We're supposed to go get Kara's patriarchal blessing today. She fell and we're at urgent care being x-rayed of her, getting x-rays of her ankle. I feel extremely tired and practically falling asleep as I sit here waiting I can feel the darkness around us. Send me more power, please. I need reinforcements. Lori texts back. Sending it now. That's awful, and I know exactly how that feels. Ugh. Zulema responds, thank you. Uh, from Lori, what time is the blessing? Um, Zulema responds in one hour at 6 p.m., March 10th from Lori, I'll work on stretching time for you. What? She going to stretch time. I need some time stretch sometimes when I want to sleep longer. Uh, so Lori's going to stretch some time for her. Zulema responds, oh, yes, we need that right now. Like, how do you stretch time? Sorry, I got to take a drink. Like, how do you stretch time? Anyways, uh, from Lori, if you make it, it will be his will. If not, I get the impression that you may need to go to the patriarch after you move. Don't know why that's coming to me. Just a thought that keeps coming. If you remember, um, Zulema's daughter said that the Zulema had planned to move to Idaho with everybody else. So... Lori's telling her here, you may need to wait to get your patriarchal blessing after you move. Zulema responds, interesting, we shall see. I wonder if I have to see him for me or for her. Uh, from somebody to Zulema, do you have your patriarchal blessing? Zulema responds, yes, I got it when I was 18. This kind of doesn't make sense of what she was saying before that. So, anyways, um, oh, that was Kara. I think I don't. I think that might be her. I don't know if that's her daughter or not, or a friend of theirs. I don't remember uh, the name. Her her daughter's name just just left me. Sorry, guys. Um, so this is from. I'm thinking Lori, but it's redacted. Remember, guys, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, it will be interesting to see what Kara says since she is so advanced to Lori. If that's what you're getting, then I think I better reschedule it. Um, from Lori, I don't know why, but I keep getting it. Uh, to Lori... I canceled it.
I asked and it was a big yes. Sorry, I had a little one in the background. It wasn't meant to be today and maybe not with that patriarch. She's not the kind of kid that gets hurt. So it was weird that it happened right before we had to go. From Lori, wow, I know I kept getting it, but I never want to tell anyone what to do. That's interesting. To Lori, on March 14th, I was given DNC 6 in a dream. It speaks of my gift. I was given a gift, a weapon, a healing tool that I can't share with it is with others, but I can use to heal, cleanse, help, and protect, etc. Were you given one of these as well? Uh, then she texts, by the way, I'm trying to see if I can find a buddy pass on American to go see you next week, Thursday to Sunday. I don't know if it will work out, but I'm going to see if God wants me to go, then he'll make it happen for me. That was on March 14th. Um, and we know at this point, Lori is not with Charles because he uh, he's on March 9th. He pleads with her to come home. Um, and we know Charles has JJ in Houston. Um, so I'll do a couple more guys and then we'll stop here. Um, from somebody, uh, he certainly does that. I'm thinking maybe we should do it in Arizona. I could come there since most of us are there and only Serena would need to travel maybe Friday and Saturday in Sedona or a nice resort in Scottsdale. What do you think? Uh, that had to be from Lori. Uh, to Lori, I love the idea. That was from Zulema on March 14th. Uh, to Lori on March 14th. Yes, yes, yes. Exclamation. From Lori, same day, several seconds later. Okay, I'll text the girls. Most of us are there, but we all need to be together before conference. I feel like it's really important. Zulema responds, that sounds right. Uh, Zulema responds again, we can always meet at my house too. I have great shields up and no one will bother us there. Except Tyson Draper. He bothered you at your house. Um, from Lori, awesome. I never even thought of that. So let's keep it in mind. We will see if the others are on board. Uh, Zulema to Lori. Lori, I have a strong feeling that the meeting needs to happen no matter what. I think we should move forward no matter what. The Lord will have will have there who is supposed to be there. From Lori, yes, I'm getting the same thing. Let's do it. Zulema responds, I agree. From Lori. Hey, beautiful. Is it still okay if we try to have the retreat at your house? It's only Serena and I, maybe Mel, who would stay overnight. Is that too much for you? The others will just come and go, I think. Tell me your thoughts. Serena gets in at noon on Friday. I can pick her up, and she flies out Monday at about 1 p.m. Again, that was from Lori on March 16th. Zulema responds, of course, it's okay. From Laura, you're awesome. I'm happy to get us a hotel, but we might be more protected at your house. Zulema responds, that's what I was thinking. We are going to need protection and shields. I'm looking forward to seeing you and having you all over for the weekend. From Lori, the adversary is already very upset about this meeting, so we need to be as careful as possible. From Lori, you are wonderful, exclamation. From Lori, March 16th, Mel is going to need to say she is going out of town. It's imperative that Brendan not know. It's Brandon. I don't know why she spelled it wrong. Brandon Bordreau. It's imperative that Brandon not know where we are. He could cause some trouble. Other than that, I see shields protecting us. Protecting us. And that's March of 2019. Zulema responds, Okay, yes, I could see the enemy preparing, but today I went to the temple and claimed and sealed blessings and powered up the shield and protect. To Lori, from Zulema, I went to the Phoenix Temple today. When I was in the celestial room, the whole room filled with heavenly beings, mother and father and the Savior were there. My husband was next to me. There were a lot of people 
that put their hands on my head and it was an ordination? Was I given the patriarchal priesthood? I believe that's what that is what happened. So that was going to Lori. So guys, we will stop there. Um, but you see this whole communication and it's coinciding with what's going on. So here you have JJ is missing his mom and he's been taken out of his school. He's in Houston with Charles, which is a safe place. And I'm glad Charles did it. But here that's, that should be your top priority. Her son should be your top priority. And it wasn't. So that's what's going on in the background. Um, and then you have Lori who's dealing with all this stuff going and spending the night weekends with Zulema and that whole crowd and everything going on. So, uh, again, sorry, Gigi couldn't make it. Uh, she is under the weather. Uh, prayerfully she'll be back tomorrow. And, um, if not, we may pick this back up Wednesday. Uh, I'm liking it, guys. I, the, the way we're doing it, I like. Give me a shout out if you're like, this is so boring. Um, but so uh, look for us either tomorrow or Wednesday. And we'll be back and we'll pick right up where we left off. Uh, it's interesting stuff. Um, so we hope you guys have a good night. And we will talk to you soon.